what's up guys it is sunday and it is sunday plan day meal prep day I'm meaning to jump whoa yeah you can tell it's sunday i've been meaning to jump on here and kind of show you the planner that i'm using um, i did purchase the intentional life planner or i think i just said that wrong uh, from justagirlabby.com and it was ten dollars i'm just going to flip through it today kind of show you how i use it um, but while, right before I do that, a lot of y'all know that I am an exercise and fitness nutrition coach, and then I'm just a dork, and I really have to plan everything. So real quick, a little bit about what we are cooking today on our meal prep Sunday. Crock-Pot fajita chicken. It's the bomb.com. You take a big old package of chicken breast, and you put it in the Crock-Pot. And I like to use fajita seasoning and ranch seasoning. You let it cook all day, shred it with a couple of forks, and then portion it out into containers. And that's basically what I live on. That and tuna packets, because I like me some chicken. And uh, then I woke up this And for some reason decided taco soup sounded good. So I got a little taco soup going on. And it is right here. Now what happens is when you don't cook... And you get the big idea to do taco soup. You discover you don't have the things to do it. So I dug around. I had a package of frozen onions and peppers. So they got, they got browned up. Then I found a pound of frozen turkey breast. So that got put in there. A quart of homemade canned tomatoes. Um, I did not do that canning. I'm honestly not sure who I should give credit for that to, uh, but I made us, so that was amazing. And then I had a random can of peas and peppers that went in there and uh, some fajita seasoning. Um, so we're going to let that simmer for a few hours and then I'll portion that out um, into uh, some Tupperware. Yeah, let's talk about Tupperware. The Tupperware. The Tupperware. Yeah. I sell Tupperware, so if you need some to get your life straight, hook me up. Um, hook me up. Hit me up. I will hook you up. Um, and because I do flexible dieting, just kind of an idea of how you... As you add things, you just kind of make a list of the calories and the proteins and the fats. And uh, I haven't finished, obviously. I've got to add in the turkeys and the tomatoes. But then I will portion it out, and then depending on how many portions, I can add all this up, and then I know what um, what the nutrition information is. Right now, it's looking pretty carby, doesn't it? But that's okay. Carbs are not bad. Carbs are our friend. So anyway, the purpose of the planner today is I wanted to talk about my Intentional Life Planner. It is $10 from JustAGirlAbby.com, and I put mine in a purple binder. And then I got some pretty scrapbook paper and put my name on it all pretty. And um, when you open it up, this is, uh, this is just my junk, my note taking. I love my label maker, so I have a label for my planner. This is my little pencil pouch. Um, the first thing about the Intentional Life Planner is you get a nice little calendar of 2016. 2017. Now, I don't know if it was something in the file or if it's my El Cheapo printer, but anytime the letter W comes up, it printed really weird, as you can see. Pretty sure it's because I've got a 10-year-old printer that I bought on Black Friday for $25, and it's just old and crappy. Um, I just set this up a couple weekends ago, and I haven't had enough time to do everything, but you have an important date place, um, so eventually that'll be filled in with birth dates and anniversaries. In five years, I would like my life to look like, and I haven't filled that out yet. My goals for the year, I'm saving for 2016. I do have a brain dump sheet going on. It's, it's back over here somewhere, goals for 2016. Um, I'll get that filled out soon, but I love how it's got action steps and that fits in with my dream life plan. Um, dream life 2016 is what I'm working on and 
If you're interested in getting more information about that, subscribe to my newsletter. The link is in the blog, or excuse me, the link is in my bio. Focus, okay, so now we're on the month. I did not fill this out for some reason. Aha, there we go, there's December. So every month starts with a nice little quote. And then you have your December um, focus areas. So uh, I'm, I've got a couple goals that I'm working on for December. And I like, again, that it gives you action steps. It tells you how to, how to, shoot, I'm having trouble talking. Action steps that you need to take to make those goals happen for December. And then this is my December overview. I should have really looked at this to make sure there was nothing embarrassing before I just put it on here, huh? But um, I use this kind of like things I do every week. And then there is a weekly breakdown. I love, love, love this. This is what made me really excited to use this planner. Because I can go through and I can break down my day. This is my things I was supposed to do last Sunday. And uh, some days I really use that breakdown, especially on Mondays, because Mondays are my busy days. Notice that today I plan my week, so I don't have to do anything. Yesterday I had a few things to do. So here in a little bit, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to plan out this week. And the way I start is I go back to that big December catalog. Or catalog, crud. Big December and I look and I see, okay, what was what's going on for this week? Do I have any doctor's appointments? Do I have anything I have to do? And if I do, it gets put on here. Then I have lists on my phone. Like every Monday, I do this stuff. Every Tuesday, I do this stuff. So I do that next. I go in and I plan those in on all the days. So for example, on Monday, I always go over my nutrition athletes reports. So that goes here. And then... On Wednesdays, I always try to send out my newsletter. So I'll put a note on there to put my newsletter. Um, so I fill all that in. Then um, I go back, and especially on days that I know are going to be busy, I go ahead and I start putting in the exact times. And I start planning my day out. My weekly goals, I work those in. And they tie back to my December goals. So like one of my goals for December is to get 10 new subscribers to my email list. Um, and so I will come up with a goal. How am I going to make that happen this week? And another one of my goals is to grow my Tupperware business a little bit, and I have some specific goals on that. So I'll put my weekly goal there of what I'm going to do this week to make that happen. And uh, <clears throat> so that that's kind of how I use the planner. Some more, just some more pictures of the planner. We'll flip it back over. So you've got every month at the start of the month. So like here's February. I don't have anything in there yet. I flipped too far. Every month it starts off with a little motivational quote. A place to write your goals. And now I really like this things I did well last month. Things to improve upon this month. Kind of gives you a focus area there. Um... And then you've got all your pages. So it's almost 200 pages long. And well worth the $10. Okay. Now, now my part, this does not come with the $10 planner. I also got these from Just a Girl Abby, planning my day. If I have a day that I know is going to be really, really hectic, some days I like to just sit down and each page have its own day. And I'm uh, sorry, the sun decided to come out. So it's my to-do list, a time block, contacts by, you know, I, I really love these pages. This is the first thing I printed off from the Just a Girl Abby blog. Um, I like the way they organize my days. Um... This is another printable I came across. It's from Scattered Squirrel. I like it too, but I don't tend to use it as much. I keep a few pages in here in case I decide to. And then the rest of my personal binder, I love label makers. I have tabs, Brain Dump, CrossFit Kids, my businesses, Tupperware, my nutrition coaching, all that fun stuff. 
But I've um, just been meaning to share my planner purchase uh, and uh, what I think about this planner. Let's flip it back around to me for a second. Here's my fish. My fish is named a bad word. I'll tell you about that some other time. Yeah, so pros and cons. Um, I had been looking at some of those high dollar planners, the foo-foo, you know, ones that cost like $60, $70. They're beautiful. Um, and I'll probably still wind up getting one. But when this one came up, $10, it's almost 200 pages long. Um, because I have that crappy printer, printing it was kind of a challenge. Because I had to really watch my printer and make sure it didn't, like, accidentally suck two pages through. Because you have to go through and print all the odd pages and then flip it over and print the even pages or, or however you want to do it. Um, but because my printer's stupid, it was a little more challenging. Um, and then you go through and you hole punch it. So, you know, it took a little bit of work. It took a little bit of brain power to put it together. That would be a con over buying a pre-made one, like an Erin Condren or a Philo. Um, but I like, I love the way that this is laid out. The Just a Girl, Abby blog, all of her printables, it's, they work really well for me. And for $10, if you use it for a couple of months and then you decide you want to do something else, it's not a big deal. So that's my planner. That's how I plan my Sundays. And I'm fixing to sit down here and fill this weekend. Really excited because I got something cool coming up this week. So um, I'm not telling you about that right now either. Um, but so if you're just watching this on replay, if you're just joining in, um, my name is Angie and my husband and I own CrossFit Murray. I do online nutrition coaching. I also sell Tupperware because it fits in with my organizational issues that like I need to organize things. Tupperware also fits in with my food prepping because I like to take my food with me. Um, and I'm just pretty much a dork. You know, I look like Hades today. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. This is what I look like. You either love me or you don't. So, uh, you all have a great day. Happy Sunday. Stay strong, y'all. Let's make this week the best week ever. Peace out.